Ah. Ah. Good morning. <laughs> what the first thing you do in the morning when you get up? <laughs> do you look for your Bible? <laughs> it says New Testament, Psalms. <laughs> do you open up and say a little prayer and thank the the Almighty for allowing you to witness a new day. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do when you get up in the morning? <laughs> oh, do you go to your window? Do you look outside? See if there's any movements. See what the weather's gonna be like today. What do you do? What do you do, my friend? Do you do a little exercise? <laughs> what do you do? Breakfast is waiting for you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, got a little ham, got my lemon. First thing in the morning, a little lemon juice, some warm water. Drink that first thing in the morning. Very good for your health, my friends. After that, this is uh, vitamin C. I also have vitamin D. Take in the morning times. What do you do in the morning? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do in the morning? <laughs> what do you do? Do you take a little walk around the kitchen and the area? Look out to the back window. Look at the clouds and the birds flying around. What do you do in the morning? Are you thankful for just being here for existing for being fortunate to have a good breakfast in the morning what do you do uh, it's not everybody has this and this and this not everybody can have a great breakfast every morning not everyone lucky as you are not any not everyone can get up in the morning and do this so we got to think about those people unfortunate people who have to struggle in the morning just to find something to eat yes there's a lot of people out there it doesn't have anything to eat in the morning. They cannot afford it. It's not available to them. But yet some of us are privileged. We are fortunate. We are the fortunate ones. We can have a great breakfast. But we must never forget those that are less fortunate. We must do more to help those that are struggling, those that are less fortunate, those 
who does not have the opportunities that we have. We have to help them. So let's start. Let's start with our hearts, you know. Let's start with our heart. Let's start giving. Let's start loving. Let's start showing what we can do as human beings. We are all equal. We all are born equal. Equal, equal. There's no white, there's no black. And if we don't see white, and if we don't see black, blue, green, or yellow, then it shouldn't be a problem. Why should we make it a problem? Where is the hate coming from? You know, where is the hate? I have this, I'm fortunate. I have this. I can get up in the morning, I can eat a great breakfast can have that. But why would I hate someone else? Why would I look down at someone else that are less fortunate? That, that is not, that does not have what I have. That cannot do what I'm doing. We have to start thinking. Why is the violence or the why what's happening with those people that that are struggling? That cannot meet their daily necessities. Those people that doesn't see a way out, that doesn't have a way out. We have to start helping them. We have to sh start showing them that we are here to help them. We got to start somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, we have to start. And that's by changing our mindset. Looking deep within our hearts. Bring out the love. Bring out the care that we have inside. We were not born with hate. We were, we were not born with discrimination. Where did it come from? <laughs> Who brought it into our lives? The hate. We weren't born with this. We weren't born to hate each other, to discriminate each other. Why? So why are we doing it? You know? Why are we being so selfish? so self-centered. Why? Is there a reason for it? Does that make us feel good about ourselves? That we are treating people that we believe to be inferior to us differently? Does that make any sense at all? Where did it come from? Who told you that you should do this? Who? Who taught you that? Somebody did. <laughs> because you were not born that way. We were born into the world that was created for us. 
well, it was created for us to love and uh, and help each other and, and, and live among each other and do business with each other, you know, and share a piece of bread with each other. That's the, I believe that was the purpose. So why, why are we hating? Why, where is this hate come from? You know? Why do we have to see another human being as different? We are all of the human race. We are all one people. This is just skin. Underneath skin, there's blood, and the blood is red. We all have red blood. So where's the kiss? How can you make a kiss out of nothing? <laughs> There's no reason to hate anyone. But there's a reason to love and understand and appreciate and give back and to share. There's a million reasons why we can be, why you can be, where all of us can be better people. There's a million reasons why. But there's no reason why we should hate each other. There's no reason why we should be acting the way that we are acting. There's no reason for it. There is no good reason. So why are we doing that? Why are we hating each other? What's your problem? Why are you so selfish? You don't have to be if you have all this. have a lot of money, big properties, we are living giant life, happy life, privileged life, while others are suffering and dying for nothing. And we are okay with that. Why are you okay? Why, why is it all right for someone to take another one's life just because he is in a less fortunate situation? Why? Where is the hate coming from? Okay. So that's my message this morning. I'm gonna get on to eating my breakfast here, so. But I got up with this thing in my head that says, where is the hate coming from, you know? Because every time I take up the phone or look at my tablet and the TV, all you can see, man, is, is news. And it's not all good. People are hating each other. People are calling out each other. But nobody is getting coming together. Nobody is trying to 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 bring it to the center, you know, where we can negotiate, we can try to make sense out of nonsense. <laughs> Which is, you can't, you can't make sense of the nonsense. Because nonsense is nonsense. <laughs> There's no way you can make sense of the nonsense. So we should come together and understand each other. 
and build on that. Build on that. Build an idea. Let's build a future together as one. Love of our brothers, our sisters, our daughters. Love each other. So, down with the hate, up with the love.